Hi there, it's Nancy Lostinit here, and welcome to this week's crochet tutorial where I'll be making a black orchid. Okay, let's get started. So first, as always, you want to do your 30 chain stitches like I've done here, pulling the yarn through the loop and then joining the ends together. You continue to do this, increasing the circle the way around for about 8 or so layers. Okay, so now we have our first circle. Remember, you want to make your stitches loose so that the petals are nice and wavy. As you can see here, the petal is quite stretchy, which is perfect. So now you're ready to start your second petal, crocheting from the inner ring. Easy peasy! And now we're just finishing with our inner petal, as you can see here. Wow, it's really taking shape. So now let's build the outer bud of the black orchid. Get your flesh colored yarn ready. So now I'm just doing my two tone slip stitch, pulling the crochet hook through the hole repeatedly. Great, now you got the idea. Remember, this is a free pattern, so have fun with it. Get creative. I'm making my bud particularly bulky because it's the winter orchid. And you can make yours as little or as large as you like. So you might be wondering why I'm using the flesh and pig colored yarn. Well, remember, we're making the bud and we'll be adding the black later. At this point, your flesh colored flaps should be curving outwards in the shape of a bud or <laughs> a potato. The bud is now face down on the table, so you're ready to start stuffing. Here, I'm just using the stuffing from the inside of a pillow. So continue to stuff the cotton into the inside of the black orchid bud. So now I'm ready to start closing the bud up again. Well, you might be thinking, what inspired you to do a black orchid, Nancy? I bought this book on exotic gardening from the Hobby World series. It's truly fascinating. <laughs> Apparently, these little guys are the unicorns of the orchid family. <laughs> 471, 472, it never gets boring. But maybe it is time to speed it up a little. So now our beautiful, bulky bud is finished. In springtime, the petals unfold from the center. The fascinating thing about a black orchid is that they're famous for their velvety outer edge, which protects them from unwanted pests. And that's what we're beginning to crochet right now. Just take your black thread, pull it along with the crochet hook, and then tie a little knot together at the ends. And using this technique, I'm gonna continue building around the outer edge to create this ingenious pest protector. So by using the simple slip double hook chain stitch, we have created what you can see here, which kind of looks like a Mr. Potato. <laughs> so here, as you can see, I've covered only half of the bud but you can continue with this process for the entire way around. So I've got my scissors at the ready to start trimming the protective layer. So as you can see, the inner bud is nice and snug in its protective layer. So that's about it for the bud. Just pick off any stray hairs that are lying around 
and make sure that the inside of the bud is stuffed nice and tightly. See how, by keeping our stitches nice and loose, we've created plenty of space in the inside, making it easy peasy to crochet our petals for the blossoming stage. See how professional our stitches look? See how smooth they feel. You can continue to stick your finger on the inside and keep smoothing it out. Two fingers, if you like. Just keep smoothing it out on the inside. That's so good. Feels really nice. Those stitches are just so professional. Oh. 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 